hi guys so i have a really 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 easy hairstyle for you guys to possibly consider doing for easter and as usual i'm going to be starting my hairstyle out from wet this is a wash and go and i've already applied all of my oils and leave-in conditioner as well as gel so that we can get straight to the hairstyle so first i'm going to separate my hair where i'm going to braid it and i'm using these no slip clips and i got these from sally's beauty supply once you have your hair parted the way that you want it you're going to take three sections of hair and you're going to start braiding it in an upward and across motion and um, for those of you who maybe want to consider doing this style um, when you have a braid out or a twist out that is entirely possible I'm putting a little bit of gel on the front and back parts of the front that I'm braiding just so that the hair stays smooth and so it doesn't get fuzzy So once you have that part done, you're just going to take three sections of hair and you're going to start braiding it. And um, if you already know how to braid or have an idea of how to do this part, you can fast forward and skip to the results. But for people who are interested in the um, process and want to get a closer look, I'm going to show the entire braid. It only takes a few, maybe like two minutes. And my hair tends to tangle at the ends, so if your hair is like that, it is best to go very, very slowly so that you have a nice, even braid and so that you don't pop or damage any of your hair. Now, here is a tip. If you... Um, don't look in the mirror while you're braiding your hair. Sometimes it's easier. Um, I usually do not braid my hair while looking in the mirror. I usually braid it while I'm looking at TV. So um, for those of you who might struggle with getting your braids like just the right way that you want them, you might want to try not looking in the mirror while you do it. Now just so you guys know, I do have the Shea Moisture Curling Souffle also on the front part of my hair. The Eco Styler was only put on my edge and on the other part, the other side of the part. Um, I did choose to use the Curling Souffle because it's very light and so it's very easy for you to do something like braid your hair while you have this gel already in your hair because it doesn't really have a hold. Okay, so now we're coming to the end of the braid and I'm just going to braid it all the way down and then I'm going to take that piece of hair and just clip it right underneath the back and um, you can certainly do this even if you have long hair. If you have long hair, you can actually wrap that around your entire head twice. But for short to medium hair, we're just going to go ahead and clip it right underneath the back and no one will be able to see that. Okay guys, I told you this hairstyle was easy. So now all you have to do is take out the clips and 
just style your hair the way you want it to dry and for me I'm just gonna fluff my hair out because I like wearing mine in a fluffy afro so that's pretty much all that there's left to do Now I am going to apply these little hair combs to the front of my hair and um, I'm also going to apply a little hair gel to my edge just so that I can smooth that the way that I like it. The hair combs are so that my hair stands up a little bit more. I do actually have quite a bit of hair so it tends to lay down instead of stand up anymore. So these hair combs really help to um, stand it up in the front. Okay guys, so this is how my hair looks outside. It's still wet and because I used the lighter curling souffle, it is not going to take that long to dry. Maybe two hours at the most. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed this easy, heatless, boho hairstyle. And thumbs up if you want to see more hairstyles like this.